boots, man. Tennis shoes. We're like wearing ankle socks and Nike tennis shoes and it's freaking snowing. The one day we get a good snow in Indiana, we don't have our boots. The power of the wipers on these new trucks are just incredible. Got the 20 foot car hauler all hooked up. Lights are all good on the trailer. Make sure you guys always check your check your trailer lights before you get on the road. Not having those lights in the dark and stuff can really suck. A couple things I'm gonna talk about with you guys soon once we get in the truck, get on the road, but we have the King Ranch here, and as you can see, there's no first gen on the trailer yet. Back home now. I was gonna tell you some things about the first gen, so there's nothing more wrong with the first gen. Essentially, what's going on down there is just so you guys can have an update, and I'm only updating if anybody from Maximum Overdrive sees this. There's nothing against you guys in any way. A quick disclaimer. The truck was supposed to be done by Tuesday-ish. That was just an estimate, and it went to maybe Wednesday, and then I called them today, which is Wednesday, and then I just said, hey, you know, just, just to check on the truck and just say, hey, you know, should I plan on picking the thing up this afternoon or what's the status, you know? They were like, yeah, so we've been a dealer for South Bend for almost 20 years. Basically, we've never had an issue getting the parts. They're all of a sudden acting like, oh, well, you need to renew your dealer's license number. You need to do this. You got to, you know, send us photos of your shop and your, you know, center so we know if we're gonna, you know, re, basically re-approve you for dealership status and whatever of for their parts and stuff, for their brand. And he's like, just frustrating. So he said that he's gonna call him in and give him a piece of his mind, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, and then make sure that that thing gets shipped and overnighted today so that he can have it done by hopefully Thursday or Friday with the clutch at least on that end, that's what he's still needing. Um, but there's nothing further wrong with the truck, just so you guys understand why we still don't have it. It's just stuff that's just kind of annoying. Couple other things we're gonna show you. That'll be back soon. And I just wanna clear up some things so that people fully understand that. There's gonna be some things that are not done until after the giveaway is over. And here's what I mean by that. Now this might be done before the giveaway is over, but at the current state, we don't have the truck here yet and I can't guarantee that it's gonna be here in time to get these videos done before the giveaway's over because the giveaway ends in four days, guys. You're running out of time to enter to win the truck, but all this stuff will still be done regardless. Even if the truck doesn't get all this stuff installed until a couple of days after the giveaway's over, it's still all gonna get installed. New front bumper for the truck because it's got that bumper that had all the holes from where the plastics clipped in. And so we got a new front bumper. It's just a chrome front bumper from an 89 model that is just, it's brand new. So it's never been on a truck before. And so that's a new front bumper for the truck. And then here is a new front lift for that truck. And this is a couple inches of front lift. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take that nose dive out of the front end of that truck. Some people like it, some people like the front rake. I personally don't, you know, we'll put the factory front leaf springs in the bed of the truck for whoever wins it if they choose to put it back down. I don't know why you wouldn't just want it leveled out, even just for clearance reasons, but that's what we got. So we got a new front leveling kit for that truck so that it sits nice and level. Then of course the center console is just now getting finished. So we're gonna have to pick that up. I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or the day after. We have gotta go up to Auburn, Indiana to get the center console. We gotta go back down to Red Key to pick up the truck. Then we've gotta get the truck hauled over to Devon to try to get the front lift installed on the truck. So there's just a lot of moving parts right now and that's just kind of how it goes when you're doing a giveaway with a truck and you're building it as the giveaway is going because it was kind of a last minute decision to make that a giveaway truck. What are you gonna do? Since we just got this back from a trip with a lot of snow, a lot of salt, I'm gonna spray this down the best that I can for about 10 minutes and then spray down our 20 foot car hauler to get all the salt off of that because it's really caked on. Ready to get sprayed down. Well, I don't know how well you can see me. There's stuff on the screen, but this is one of the most defeating tasks I've ever done in terms of washing a vehicle. It's so cold and everything's so frozen and caked on that trailer. It would take me three, four hours to get everything off underneath. So I'm just gonna wait Two more days until it's 50 degrees, then I'll give it a good spray. Got snow on the rear sensors, but there's Rosine. 
just in case you guys missed the reveal video. She's all lifted, new axle, all that good stuff. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> I was trying my best to clean off this truck and trailer. I got most of the truck cleaned off, but the trailer just sucked. And I'm try I was trying to make it out in time to be able to go hunt today because I have not been hunting at our Ohio property in almost, actually I think it's over two weeks since I've been over there. Anybody who knows me knows I can't be out of the woods for that long in terms of hunting. I'm like, I gotta get back, I gotta go out. Well, I'm trying to stay disciplined and make my daily videos because I said I was gonna try to do that. So I'm like, ah, oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm like, oh, well, I can tell them what's going on with the first gen and why it's not done yet. Go over the new parts that are waiting to be put on, stuff like that. I'm like, well, I can try to clean off the truck and trailer. Maybe that'll add to a little bit of the content. I didn't go as planned. Uh, that actually really sucked. I was out there for like 45 minutes and it was just freezing cold. And it's like 20, eight degrees 27 28 degrees out freezing cold and everything was just like freezing over on the trailer so it was just super defeating i'm like trying to do it trying to do it and just it's just getting worse i'm like this is dumb i'm like i'm just gonna do this different day because this is just not working right now so we didn't do that we're gonna be trying to get that first shit all buttoned up as soon as we pick it up i hope they give us a call like tomorrow so as much as i would hate to drive an hour and 20 minutes again when we stayed in town hoping that we would be there to just pick the truck up and leave well we ended up staying in town for a handful of days and just waiting and waiting and waiting trying to work from out of town and trying to do other stuff and it just didn't happen i'm like i can't wait around anymore like i've got to go i got stuff to do we're here so i can catch up on some other stuff i still need the truck back so i'm hoping they'll give us a call tomorrow we can go get it at the latest on friday but that's pushing it i don't want to wait much longer i can't wait much longer than that don't forget that if you want to enter to win that blue first gen that's getting the new clutch put in right now that i've been talking about them having some complications with getting the clutch for because of south bend giving them the run around and wasting their time if you want to to win that truck plus five thousand dollars cash go to lmpgear.com all you got to do is place an order that's all you got to do just place an order at lmpgear.com and you're automatically entered to win four days left hit that link place an order get entered because that truck could be yours i'll catch you in the next video peace